So now my head is ready for features. Um, what I've done is just kind of created a flat area on the bottom, so I just kind of tapped it so that my head can actually sit upright. And then we're gonna build out to add every, everything else on this face. So you do have to kind of understand a little bit of anatomy and how things work for this. Um, so I'll go ahead and, and show you. You should have kind of a sketch or an idea of what you're working from. For, for myself, I'm going to kind of do a cartoon version of myself for this project. Um, so step one, once you have the head shaped the way you want, you have it able to sit up, you can also work facing down, but you don't wanna push down too much because you don't want a flat back of your head. So I'm gonna try and work this way for you guys. Okay, step one is you want to create eye sockets for yourself because if you're thinking of a skull, your eyes sit inside um, your skull a little bit. So I'm going to kind of guess right around almost the halfway mark. Your eyes way, aren't way up here. This is your forehead and this is where your hair is gonna be. Your eyes are gonna be closer to the middle part actually. And I'm just going to rub very lightly. I'm not smashing my egg, but I'm just kind of putting little indentations for where I wanna put my eyes. And my eyes are, um, that's probably good for that. The water bottle, so if you have a little cup of water, um, you can just kind of dab some water to create a little bit of a muddy surface for some of your attachments. That'll give you a little bit of a slip so things don't fall apart. Um, and then the next thing you're gonna add are your basic eye shapes. Now this is where you can be extravagant. You could have done this really big and made really huge eyes um, or you can make more realistic eyes like what I'm gonna kinda do. So I'm just gonna take a little ball clay and I'm going to, mm, it's not that much, I don't need that much but I am going to do these two kind of at the same time because I want them to be even. Again, this is where you can be silly. You can make one eye huge, you can make one eye open, one eye closed, it's up to you. So I'm gonna try and just form two little BBs about the same size. And then what I'm gonna do next is just kind of stick them in my eye socket. And when I say stick, I just kind of, I'm lightly pressing. I don't wanna lose my eye shape. Um, you don't really want super flat eyes. So as long as it's stuck, I kind of just wiggle it right in place. Okay, it's a little flat, that's good. All right, next I'm gonna put some eyelids on. Again, you don't have to do eyelids if you don't want to. Maybe you wanna make just cartoony eyes and you wanna go ahead and just make crazy, let's put a dot in each one. You can have your cartoon eyes like that if you choose. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put eyelids on mine because I kind of like how they look. So to do this, you just basically and this is what's fun about sculpture. It's really, it's not as hard as you guys think. Um, you make little pieces of things and then you attach it and then you can kind of carve and shape as you need. So what I'm doing is just flattening out a little chunk of clay, almost like a piece of like trident chewing gum, not even as much as one of those little, you know, rectangular chewing gums. And then I'm gonna go ahead and overlap part of my eyeball. And as you can see, I'm not pressing it on my eyeball. I'm going to use that clay and I'm going to smooth it out all around the eyeball, I'm not really going on on there. And then I'm gonna push down a little further. And you can shape your eyelid however you choose. If you're a girl and you wanna make it look like you have eyelashes, you can kind of pinch it more out. Um, you might be able to draw some lines in it so it kind of flares out. There's one. If you wanna get real fancy, you can make an under under eyelid. I'm gonna do that too, just to show you guys, cause you might wanna do this. I put a little bit more water on it. Keep yourself a, and you don't really have to cover up a lot of your eyeball. It's just for kind of the appearance. So that looks a little bit better. I'm not gonna try and smash it too, too much. I'm just gonna add that in like that. And then I would go ahead and do the same for the other side. Okay. Um, Let's move on to the nose. To make a nose, it's pretty easy. Um, don't get overwhelmed with it, but you wanna think about shapes. So my nose is not the smallest nose, so I'm gonna use a bigger little piece of clay for mine. And the first thing I'm gonna do, make sure that I have some water where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna go ahead and shape a teardrop. Um, think of it as like, like a raindrop or a teardrop. So it's skinnier at the top and just kind of more rounded at the bottom. Right now, I'm not working with a specific nose shape. I'm just creating the basic kind of a template for it. So here you go, it's the basic teardrop shape. 
the skinny part of the nose is going to go kind of right in between the eyes and then the bigger part comes down. Now, once you've got that in place, if it's too big, you can always extract clay. You can carve some away. That might take a little bit off. It's a little excessive. Once it's on, you can also just reshape it however you choose. You know, for mine, I probably need to turn it so I can look at what it looks like from the side. And it's a little crooked, so I'm gonna take some of this clay and just move it. Now again, I would have already done the other eye, but just for sake of speeding this up, I'll, I'll let you assume I did the other eye. Okay, so there's a good starting point. Now you can just keep your nose like that if you want, or you can even go a step further and add little nostrils. And to do that, you just make two little BBs. I'm gonna put it on either side of the nose here, and this is really big. That's all right. Pinch it down in place. Then I'm gonna go ahead underneath and make sure this is all very much attached to my other clay body here, or my clay head, I should say. So I'm scraping the clay so it becomes one piece. And then you can take like a little pencil and kind of drill in for the nostrils there. You wanna make something crazy, you can have worms coming out of their nose, boogers coming out of their nose, make it as fun as you want. But that's basically a nose and it comes off the body. So there's different ways you guys can make lips. You could even cut in and open your mouth and then put little kind of um, coils around it to make the lips. Coiling is generally the, the way to make lips. Um, so if you guys remember coils, it's like rolling out little snakes. You've all done this with Play-Doh, I'm sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll that out. It's about even. So there's one. I can actually just fold this in half. Um, and my top lip's a little smaller than my bottom lip, so I'm gonna kind of use the flip it that way. You can make your mouth do whatever you want. You can make yourself screaming. You can make yourself have a pretty smile. However you choose to do it is fine. Again, there's water there. I'm just gonna kind of stick it on. Maybe I'll make it look kind of silly. Maybe this isn't me. Maybe I'll just make it weird. So that's stuck. But to make sure it does not fall off, I'm going to take my tool again, and I'm going to kind of just scrape some of that clay together. And I'll try to do the same up here. Next step, we're gonna go ahead and add some shape to our face because we don't all have just straightforward egg-shaped faces. We have bone structure. So I'm again gonna get some water and we're gonna add some cheeks and the chin and maybe even a little bit on your forehead. So for this, again, make sure it's wet. All you have to do is grab a little hunk of clay. I'm gonna try this for my cheekbone. I'm gonna kinda of press that in place. I don't wanna smash it too much because I kinda of want it to stick out from from my my head so that it has some shape there but I am smoothing out my seams because you want it to look like it's one solid piece of clay so to get in here is a little tricky so I'm just gonna use a pencil and kind of smash that in I can go back and clean that up after but Again, your hands are your best tools. Um, some spaces are a little too small to get in, so you will have to kind of find a tool. I probably shouldn't be using a pencil. I should probably be using one of my clay tools, but you can use a toothpick. Um, you can find a broken pencil. Any type of small straight edge that you need to get in certain spaces, you're, you know, you're free to use. That's, that's the fun part of clay, so there's no real rules with that. Okay, that's looking better. So I'm smoothing that in. As you can see, there's a little bit more of a cheek going on now. This looks like a crazy person. All right, you can do the same thing. I'm not gonna go ahead and do the forehead, but same thing, water. Um, make sure it's wet. You can add on a chin. If you have more of a pointy chin on yours or, you know, a long fat chin or a 
the double chin, however you want to do it, is up to you. Okay, so moving along, I kind of have my head. You can do the last bits of these features, whatever you want. Maybe your person has horns, maybe it's an animal. I'll go over that in another video if you are doing an animal. But what I would try to do is add as much detail as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and make like two kidney bean shapes for my ears. Nothing special yet, as you can see, they're just little. I'm gonna take my water and put it in place. Create a little bit of mud there. I'm gonna start, and your ears are, are generally, if we looked at, if you remember the portrait packet, they fall in between um, your eyes and above your mouth. So I'm gonna go right about here, off the side of my head, and kind of stick it on. And the best way to make ears is not to smash the whole thing, but just kind of smash half of that kidney bean right into the side of your face. That's, that's simple enough. If you want, you can kind of clean up the back and attach it a little better if yours isn't sticking, but if you really press that into, into the main clay, you should be fine. You could add earrings if you choose. You could do some carving details in there if you want, and that's up to you. Basic ear. Um, and then finally, we can do hair if you choose to. So, you know, um, hair is, there's all different ways to make hair. Personally, um, I would only add little bits on. So like say you're doing a, a guy's hairdo, I would flatten out some clay and maybe start at the top. And if it's like a short haircut, I don't really wanna do this with a whole lot. So I'm just gonna smooth the back part in. So that just, it looks like it overlaps over there. And then maybe I would do that for like um, and you can do this for girl hair too. You can make it longer, but maybe some sideburn type situation going on here. I'm gonna grab another piece of chewing gum. I call it chewing gum, but it kind of comes down at the sides. And I'm gonna again work it in to the back. You know, maybe you have a part on your head. You can kind of draw that in. And then I would actually texturize the hair too. I would use another, you know, toothpick, needle. You can kind of scrape it. You can do lines. You know, guys' hair generally, you can do short strokes, just like we talked about with animal hair, or you can do longer strokes. But off of the part, it generally does change direction. So hair would not be going the whole way or the same way in every direction. It would be obviously getting shorter as you move down here and then it would probably come back behind the head here, shorter, and you would texturize all that to the back. So you can kind of start to see that coming along. And that's for a guy. For a girl, you could put a bun on her head, you could put a bow in her hair, um, you could make a braid out of coiling. There's lots of options for that. Um, for those of you that are cohort C and won't be in class, you can look some of those things up on Google or you can email me for some other ideas. But everybody that'll be in class, I can give you some help when we get to that point. But it'd be kind of fun. You can actually add other stuff to your head. Then eventually we will cut it open and it will be a lidded jar and you'll have a fun little pot that you can put some, some of your junk in. Um, hopefully this helps. Uh, this is a pretty fun project, so I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys do. One last thing for you guys, um, I didn't go over, but you can add eyebrows, you can add a mustache, you can add scars on their faces. Um, but when you are done working for the day or for whatever period, you wanna make sure that it stays wet. The only time it should dry out is before it goes in the kiln and it is completely finished. So I would, um, if you have a spray bottle like I do, give it a spritz until the next day. If it's really moist, it should be fine. But you want to go ahead and put it back in your baggie and make sure that you zip that up. Um, what else can I tell you? I think that is about it um, for cohort C. When you are done, you can bring it back in the baggie and drop it off at the security desk and I will fire it for you and we'll get it back to you at some point. Um, at this stage in the game, I think we're probably gonna run out of time for actual the in-class painting, but that's something you can come back and do after it's out of the kiln at any time.